Good evening, everyone. Welcome again to Bill Green's Maine, coming to you tonight from Waterville and the iconic Taconic Footbridge, also known as the Two Penny Bridge. This has been a long winter, the kind of winter that if you wanted to win it, you had to get outdoors to enjoy it. One way they passed a winter day was in Skowhegan, where they got together to enjoy a little ski juring. Something crazy. It's more exhibition than competition. Keep it under 100. <laughs> yep. A horse and rider pull a skier around a course. Oh, baby! And if they are lucky or skilled, over a couple of bucks. Hold on tight. Yeah, stand up straight. Don't fall. A couple hundred have come out on this frosty February day. They want to see the action, but many are snow vultures hoping for the worst. Sullivan Butler disappointed them by staying up and winning the event behind Diablo Negro, ridden by Lily Day. It's really thrilling. It happens fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's over so fast you don't know what happens. The event was put on by Main Street Skowhegan. The day did exactly what it was designed to do, create an afternoon of fun, which certainly shortens the long Maine winter. 24 seconds, point 83. Good run, congratulations. Randy McCoy of 93.5 Cruise and Country <laughs> provided the play-by-play, -play, and he had something to work with when John Cannon showed up, having slipped into his Cape Crusader outfit. It felt like being a superhero today. <laughs> the event is kind of a combination of barrel racing and water skiing, with maybe a couple more sports mixed in. One nice aspect is that it's primitive. It's pretty hard to practice. You just show up and go for it. John almost made it. <laughs> what was it like? <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> okay. You know, the horse seemed to be in charge. He kind of yeah. He kind of he kind of kind of does what he wants. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. That's interesting. Don't do that again for about a year. Awesome, <laughs> dude. Why didn't I think of that? The skiing is important. The horse more so. Heather Nickerson is riding cowboy. You care at all, really, about that person back there? You just ride like heck around. I ride like the wind. He's on his own. <laughs> but we do have an emergency release if he does go down. We just pull that and drop the rope and keep going. Just leave him. Yeah, like deploying a parachute. Here, here comes the jump. Bill Poulin had a good run. Nice land. Cruising behind Noble, who was ridden by Hannah Novaria. The horse is doing the work for you. Yeah, the horse needs to go fast oh, and stay ready. upright, especially in the corners. Are you having and you just fun? slingshot, that's all you do, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Things do go wrong. On this run, the rope released and the skier was left standing in the corner. Well, he made it a quarter of the way around. Now we'll see. She's going to come back around and pick him up. And while we joke about skiers crashing, there's certainly concern about the horses, which wear special spiked shoes to stay upright. There's more to this than meets the eye, says Doreen Boucher. But if the horse fell, he could hurt his hip, his leg, break a leg, all that stuff. So, yeah, I was a nervous mother watching. But this guy was great. She's more concerned about the horse than she is about you. I mean, <laughs> he bounces. He cares about the skier. <laughs> it was a competition. The novices didn't have to take the jumps, even though skiers like Melina McHenry had a good understanding of what was needed. You're just going over jumps. You're just going up, and then you're going to just go like that over the jumps. And you're just skiing around the gates. Melina had the fastest time of the day, but apparently missed the gate. Got a five second penalty and finished second. Yeah, Melina! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, don't die. <laughs> In fact, nobody died. Ski Juring in Skowhegan is the latest demonstration of a sport that's been around at least a thousand years, but nobody has seen it done quite like this. That was fun and the first time we've covered ski juring behind horses. Often it's done behind dogs and particularly behind sled dogs.